I'm in Moreland. January 2021 has been a warm month, and today was the warmest day so far. Look at these highs, upper 30s to lower 40s across the area, including a reading of 43 degrees in Wapaka and 41 in Shano. After today's warmth, we're going to stay warm for the next day or so, and then some colder weather is going to return. Here's a look at your seven-day temperature trend tomorrow. Temperature still in the upper 30s to around 40. We'll see mid-30s on Friday, right around freezing on Saturday, and then closer to normal by early next week. Yeah, closer to normal, but still slightly above normal, and that's what we've been dealing with all month long. Right now, temperatures are still in the 30s, including a reading of 33 degrees in Green Bay and 35 in Oshkosh. Along with the warmer temperatures, finally some sunshine. Take a look at all that blue sky that we saw during the late morning and early afternoon. But as the afternoon wore on, the clouds moved back in from the west. And once again tonight, we are looking at cloudy skies across northeast Wisconsin. Here comes our next weather maker. It's an area of low pressure now moving across Montana and southern Canada. It's producing some rain and snow right now from the Dakotas back towards the Rockies. And it's going to be sliding east-southeast and intensifying later on tonight into tomorrow. And for that reason, winter storm Watches and winter weather advisories have been issued for a large part of the upper Midwest, and that does include Green Lake and Marquette counties where a winter weather advisory is in effect for tomorrow. Quiet weather tonight, quiet weather tomorrow morning. Skycast shows cloudy skies, but as the morning turns into the afternoon, we're going to see an area of snow, sleet, rain, and freezing rain work in from the south and west. That wintry mix eventually going over to all snow as we move deeper into the late afternoon and early evening. The snow will then continue on and off tomorrow night into Friday. Now, as far as snow totals are concerned, this is not going to be a huge event, but we really haven't had much snow so far this winter. So it is significant, about one to three inches for most of the area, probably a little less near the shoreline of Lake Michigan and a little bit more north and west of the Fox Valley. As I mentioned earlier, this will be a wintry mix going over to snow, so how quickly that transition takes place will play a role in how much we get. So some of these totals could go up a little bit or could go down. Stay tuned. Before the wintry mix and snow arrives, high temperatures will be in the upper 30s to around 40, about 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. And the weather forecast remains the same for land field on Saturday. Look for a lot of clouds, maybe a couple of flurries with kickoff temperatures right around freezing. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Overnight lows will be in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Tomorrow, cloudy skies. We'll watch that wintry mix move in during the afternoon from southwest to northeast. High temperatures once again well above normal. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 37. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the Oral Health Partnership. And we did that today. I forecast 38. The actual high temperature was 39 degrees. On and off snow on Friday. Another half an inch to an inch is possible. Some snow showers and flurries on Saturday and Sunday as temperatures start to cool down. Upper 